is your First Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Well, good afternoon, good evening. Almost at this point, everyone. And man, it was it was nice to see some snow back on our radar imagery. This low pressure system slowly crawling through the area, crawling through the area gave us a little bit of snow. It wasn't a ton, but it was at least about one to two inches around the Monument Hill area. The pavement has actually been okay over I-25 near Monument, which is awesome. So more of a pretty snow today. It's cold though, 19 degrees and temperatures expected to fall more through the day. Still a little bit of snow downtown and some of the parking lots. Tejon is fine. The parking lots, the sidewalks are okay, but this is wet and there's no reason why we couldn't have wet pavement freeze tonight because it's already below freezing, but we're going to get much much colder over the next 12 hours. 33 degrees in Pueblo, so a little calm outside. The wind isn't too bad. The snow didn't really stick very well, so anything that's damp, like I said, could develop a little bit of ice. Same thing with Canyon City, just kind of damp on the roadway from the high humidity, the light snow that we did have, more of it in the foothills, and we look down towards Trinidad, where Fisher's Peak still hiding behind the clouds. Did have a little bit of snow out there. You can still see some of it on the rooftops. So let's be careful in the sidewalks, parking lots over the next 12 hours. Looking into the forecast, it is very cold through the region. Most of us are somewhere in the lower 30s or in the 20s, and we only get colder from here. Road temperature networks, our estimations, our calculations are showing road temperatures are in the mid 30s, but these numbers should fall. So again, overnight, pavement that's wet. There's no reason why it couldn't develop some stray ice. We do have some snow showers between Canyon City to Pueblo, a thinner strip running off the wet mountains into the open country out near Crowley County, but that's kind of about it. Otero County as well. Looking at your future cast modeling, tomorrow is the next chance for snow. It doesn't develop until the end of the day. First over our southern mountains, spreading across the interstate by five and six, and then this really just gets going Saturday night. There could be some heavy snow in there. Now here's what I'm forecasting for those totals. This is actually a really good looking system for the plains, areas east of I-25, especially along and south of Highway 50. We could get widespread three to five inches. Colorado Springs is a little tougher. I went one to four inches, leaving room for us to have a little bit more up by Monument Hill. And then I think the wet mountains, the Sangre de Cristos will do quite well. Overnight lows tonight into the teens. So like I said, Anything that gets a little wet or stays a little wet or slushy, there is no reason why it couldn't freeze on over. Looking into the extended forecast, we still think Saturday night is kind of our next best chance for some snowfall. Looking into the extended Monday, I do see a chance for some flurries in the evening. And then I, we're mostly dry next week, but towards Thursday night, there might be some sort of snow. Pueblo, we are going to be cold over the next few nights. We do get a little bit better towards Monday, but some flurries try to develop and then looking into the extended drier next week. Canyon City, it's the same deal where the snow, we're really watching it for Saturday. Saturday night, Sunday's dry. We go over to next week, we're in the 40s, we look drier. And Woodland Park can't rule out some snow towards the end of the week next week. But until we get there, we're just going to watch for some slick, slick and snowy roads Saturday night. Elizabeth?